Welcome to Scrap and Rabbit. This is Christine. Today I come to you with another journal. This one is based on a songbird's theme. So I've got lots of pictures of birds in here. And this journal is geared to writing. So I didn't put too many embellishments in there. It's mostly writing pages, but with some images of birds. And here's the cover. The title is Songbirds, and I have a pretty bird here with a nice glittery flower. And I made the closure with a handmade lace flower. There's a little ribbon rose in the middle. And this is a piece of lace, and this is removable. So if you don't want to leave it on the journal, you can remove it. But I like the look with the, um, with the flower on when you're not journaling. But that's entirely up to whoever gets this journal. I'm going to list it in my Etsy shop. I want to show you how I made this little closure. It's really simple to do. On the back, I stitched a hair elastic. This is a, um, a cloth covered stretchy elastic. And I stitched it to the middle of the flower. And then on the ends, I just wrapped a piece of lace through each of the hoops and then I just glued it down. You can also stitch them down like that so that you do have the stretch so that you can put this back around the journal. So now you can see the cover a bit better. And I've got four signatures inside here. I covered the stitching of the signatures with some paper and on the side I've got some ribbon, some more lace, lace seam binding and then I've got a chain attached to a lobster claw, a lobster clasp and I can remove that so you can always take this off and attach it to your purse if you prefer but let me just take you through the little embellishments on here. I've got some beads here and here and here and I also have some charms there's a little clock or it looks like a pocket watch a little flower a bird with a branch in his mouth I guess that's a dove and then I like this really big chunky bead at, at the end. And on the back, I often do this. I put a little die cut there so you can write a, a date or a title on the back of the journal. Then I also attached some beads. I don't know if you'll be able to see these on the sides of the uh, of some of the pages. And um, I just used some little clips or some little pins and I attach the beads to these little fabric tabs. These are ribbon tabs that I made. So let's have a look at the inside. On the cover I have a tag that I turned into a corner pocket and I have this little tag that slides behind there and I've got some eyelash yarn to embellish the corner pocket and I've got some dimensional stick-ons here and I should mention also that I used um, an old book to make the covers. Here's my first signature and it has another pretty bird and there's some glitter on the paper. I stitched around the edges of my signature covers and I attach some black lace on this edge. So here's a photo of a bird. I tea dyed my paper so a lot of the paper in here is going to be this uh, crinkly light tea color. And here's another photo of a bird and when I'm making my journals for um, with the emphasis on writing, 
I like to make these little fold outs where I attach images that way you can still write behind here and also behind the image so you're not losing any space and then this is just another piece of um, paper I had that then I just punched a design on the edge so here's another one of those little tags or little fold ups and this is a bird in a nest box. Here's a little tag that I just attached to the edge of the paper with a paper clip. And again, I've got some of that beautiful, what they call eyelash trim, or eyelash yarn. And I made my tag with um, some old book pages. And then I added some other scraps of paper and I just inked around the edges. There's a few more pages. I attached a doily and you can slide something in here. And you could also glue the bottom edge down and then you could also add something behind and have two pockets in there. Here's another pretty image of a bird. This is small, so I just pasted it directly on the page. And here I edged around, I just tore the image and I inked around the edge and I glued it in the middle. Here's some more paper. I like using different styles of paper and also get some different textures in there. I stitched this along this cardstock. And then you can slide something behind here. Another pretty bird. And you can journal behind there. And here's the first little tab I made with some pretty ribbon. And I attached a little dangle on there. I inserted some music paper. Pretty bird. And this is a really pretty envelope that I had and it had this hummingbird on it so I thought it would be appropriate. So you can tuck something in here and then there's a little butterfly on the back. I'm not sure how many pages there are in this journal, but there's quite a few. And then I've got a little corner pocket down here and I stitched along the edge. It's another pretty image. And then here's the other side of the, of the doily. Another corner pocket. I like stitching around the pages. It, uh, it gives an added, uh, added texture. I've got a little bit of lace here again. Another corner pocket. So I'll go a little bit faster through these pages because I believe they're constructed pretty much the same. There's another one of these little tags. And I like how this just sticks out the top. That's such pretty yarn. Difficult to crochet with though. You kind of have to feel your way if you're using that for a crochet project. Now here's um, another envelope. You can tuck something in there and then you just fold it down like that. And here's another little dangle bead. And here I added some doodle paper. I thought that's kind of neat and I have an owl here in the middle and I put this page right in the middle of the signature that way 
it's not split up and you can just color the entire image and then there's the back. These are pretty. It's quite a thick journal and that's why I didn't want to add any more embellishments. Whoever gets this can add their own if they like. And when you're making a journal, even if you get a little corner that tears, it just adds to the, the interest of the page, especially if it's paper that you've tried to age. So I'm not too worried about little tears sometimes on the corners of papers. Another little dangle. This was another envelope. Another tag. And this says David Copperfield. This was a David Copperfield book. Or at least David Copperfield's story was in the book. And I still have the innards of the book so I can still read it. And there's another long tag that I put in this plastic pocket and that full like that. This image, yeah, this is glued down. And then here's my last signature. Another tag. And here's another one of those doodle pages. This one is split up, but I figure you can still draw this side and then the other pattern is over here. So it's like you're getting two, two images here. They don't necessarily have to be on the same page. Another pretty envelope. And I attached an image of a bird on there, but this was already printed on the envelope. Like again, this owl. And this one I just stuck it in the middle, but it still opens like that. So as you can see, there's still lots of room in here for for more pictures and and there's like room for tons of journaling. I love this picture on the back and this is just left plain. You can always uh, attach an envelope there or attach a photo or whatnot. So that's my bird themed journal. I hope you like it. You can leave me your comments below. I hope this gives you ideas for making your own journals and I'll also include a link to it in my Etsy shop. Have a nice day and happy crafting. Bye!